Anupam, please take your seat. Where do you belong, beta? Sir, I belong to Kalahandi district. Kalahandi district. Yes. I say you have got anthropology and forestry. Yes. What is the preservation of forest and the upgradation of ecological balance? Uh, <coughs> sir, preservation of forest is. Uh, uh, sir, can I take a guess actually? Yes, I mean, sir, preservation of forest means uh, we uh, <coughs> protect the forest and we protect the wildlife and uh, we improve the forest quality by tending operations and uh, several such practices like thinning, etc. So th this uh, includes, uh, in my opinion, sir, in preservation of forest. And uh, with preservation of forest, we can increase the ecological uh, balance of the. Does the globalization, globalization yes. process, a uh, by way of industrialization process, industrialization process, in large or Vedanta. Um, does it affect the ecological balance in Kalahandi district? Uh, yes, sir. Because of that, only there was a protest by the tribals because they considered that as a sacred place of their uh, lord. And it, it, it would have uh, caused ecological damage, sir. Who is the Chief Justice of Odisha High Court? Uh, sorry, sir. Actually, I am not able to remember. Yes, Okay, Thank you, sir. And I think uh, you also have the forestry also. What is natural forest fire? Actually, I don't know. What it is? Natural what forest fire. Uh, yeah. Natural forest fire. Uh, forest fire is uh, uncontrolled fire in uh, forest area, and natural there are natural causes for that, and also anthropological uh, causes. And natural forest fires are caused because of lightning. Then uh, there is, if there is any dry spell in that area, then it may cause uh, forest fire. And also, sir, uh, these two things, sir, I am able to recall them. Sir, what is good governance? Sir, uh, governance means uh, <laughs> provision of goods and services to the citizens. Mm -hmm. And if we uh, do that in a integrated, in, it, with a manner that is uh, affordable, accessible, and uh, available to the people in a manner that is uh, <coughs> that is free of corruption and they can and what are the pillars of good governance uh, sir pillars of good governance are like transparency yes. then accountability yes, yes. and uh, res reliability mm -hmm. and responsibility yes, and what is gujral doctrine uh, sir gujral doctrine is uh, related to foreign policy mm -hmm. and it was given by ik gujral and it relates to the concept that if we are doing something for our neighborhood, then we should not expect anything in return. Mm -hmm. That we should do it in a manner that uh, there is no expectation of return from the neighbor. And what is the uh, difference between capitalist policy and socialist policy? Uh, sir, capitalist policy and socialist policy are forms of economic system. In capitalist policy, we, we mainly depend on market economy. And uh, in socialist policy, government controls all the factors of production and distribution. Everything is controlled by government. I think it also comes under, uh, we, uh, it is also known as ideology. Of, no? Yes, yes. Okay. And when uh, this ideology has been erupted? Uh, socialism started during Soviet era, USSR era. And in 1917, when Russian revolution uh, happened, after that, uh, uh, it was started uh, with, by Lenin, I think, sir. And capitalist economy is was prevalent in at that time. Capitalist economy was prevalent in West, that is USA and uh, UK, then uh, France, all this. And clearly, we uh, we have gone through after Second World War, yes. when the Cold War is started. Na? Yes, yes. Sir. And what is the uh, main purpose of fundamental right? Uh, sir, uh, main purpose of fundamental right is if we are uh, having some rights. Uh, if uh, we, we have been given some rights, then there has to be some duties uh, for the nation. And that's why we have fundamental duties. No, no, rights. Why fundamental okay, rights? Okay, sorry, sir. I, I okay. Okay. Fundamental rights are those rights uh, that helps in holistic development of the citizens. Uh, without that, uh, the there will not be any liberty, there will not be any innovation in the system. And uh, for holistic development, basically, we need fundamental rights. Burla Passout? Huh? Yes. Okay. I heard that Burla Passout students are very intellectual students. Yes, sir. 
in electrical specifically. In electrical. Right. So can I ask questions from electrical? Actually, sir, I passed out in 2015. After that, I worked in IT. I passed out in 2006. Still, I remember the questions. I am into civil service academy since last eight years. I have not even a single day <laughs> looking after the books. So okay. So, sir, shall I ask? I will try, sir. Okay. But I think you will, you can do because Burla people, no? Burla electrical, very strong people. What is the difference between harmonic filter and capacitor bank? Uh, sorry, sir. I am not able to. I haven't revised that. Okay, let me uh, connect with your civil service. Okay. What is the global earning potential of vacuum circuit breaker? You know vacuum circuit breaker? Uh, yes, sir. That has been used in the switch yard. Oh, yes, sir. It has some global earning potential? Sorry, sir. I am not able to recall. Actually, I, I haven't. Uh, uh, yes. What is the powder used in the vacuum circuit breaker? That sorry. has got some global earning potential. Sorry, sir. I haven't uh, gone through it. Tell me, what is enacted and evolved constitution? Difference. En enacted and evolved constitution. Uh, sir, uh, uh, enacted constitution, I will give an, an uh, example that is Indian constitution. And evolved constitution, uh, I can give the example of UK constitution. Because in United uh, Kingdom, we do not have a written constitution. All these things are uh, not <coughs> compiled in a exact, uh, in a one single document. So, that's maybe the difference between the two. This much, this, this is what I am going to do. Uh, please put on uniform dress. Clear the beard. Yes, sir. Actually, I am going to do uniform dress. Okay. Thank you.